Hey guys, welcome back to another Championships Predictions video. It is the penultimate weekend of the season, week 45. But before we get into this week's predictions, let's have a very quick look at how well we all got on in week 44. The well, top scorer last week was Daddy, Daddy Cool 52, with a magnificent score of 19 points and five perfect scores. So congratulations on an amazing score, Daddy Cool 52. Myself, I came away with 13 points and three perfect scores. So how does that affect the overall standings in the predictions league? Well, top of the shop is still Shane O'Donnell on 363 points. Myself, I'm 10 points behind on 353 points and the Dugout Football Channel is on 351 points. So all to play for in these final two weekends of the season. But without further ado, let's get into it and make predictions for week 45. So 13 fixtures to predict this time around, starting off on Friday evening between QPR and Sheffield United. Now Sheffield United beat QPR just a few weeks ago, 1-0 at Bramall Lane. I think this is going to be a tight one. They mustn't lose Sheffield United just to hang on to that sixth place in the playoff zone. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Then we move on to Saturday fixtures. We've got Barnsley coming up against Preston. Barnsley already down. I fancy Preston to come away with a 1-0 victory. Then we've got Blackburn coming up against Bournemouth. Bournemouth currently second in the table. I can see them going to Blackburn and carving out a 2-1 win. Then we've got Blackpool against Derby County. Derby, another team that are down as well. I fancy Black. Pool in this one at home. I want to give their fans something to remember before the season. I can see them winning 2-0. Then we've got Bristol City coming up against Hull. This is uh, 17th against 18th in the table. And I fancy Bristol City just to come through with a narrow 2-1 victory. Then we've got Cardiff coming up against Birmingham. Cardiff experimenting, you could say, with their team at the moment. Birmingham looking woeful. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 home victory to the Bluebirds for their final match at the Cardiff City Stadium this season. they have got Coventry coming up back against Huddersfield. This is a, another game where a playoff team will not want to lose this match. Uh, I can see this one ending all square. Coventry have the slimmest of chances moving into the playoff picture but uh, that looks an almost impossible task and I can see this one ending 1-1. One, one. Then we've got Middlesbrough coming up against Stoke. Tough one to predict this one but I fancy goals and Desmond's in this one so it's going to be 2-2. Two, two. Then Millwall come in and get up against Peterborough. Peterborough 22nd will be down in Division 1 once again next season and I fancy Millwall to carve out a 2-0 win. We've got Forest, not enough Forest coming up against Swansea. Not enough Forest will need to win this match for a chance of going up automatically and I think they will but I think they'll it will be a narrow win, and I fancy Forrest to win this with 2-1. We've got Reading coming up against West Bromwich Albion. Another dead rubber match this win, and I fancy uh, West Brom to come away with a 2-1 away win. We've got Fulham coming up against Luton Town on Monday evening. A real good game this one. Luton, another team who will not want to lose this fixture. I don't think they will. I think they'll cancel each other out. In fact, don't think there'll be any goals and I fancy this one to be a nil-nil draw. And the final fixture of game week 45 sees Bournemouth coming up against Nottingham Forest in the biggest game of this game week. An absolute humdinger down there on the south coast and I fancy Nottingham Forest just to squeeze out the win and I'm going for Bournemouth 1, Nottingham Forest 2. So that concludes my predictions for week 45 of this championship season. Make sure you leave your predictions as a comment in the comment section. I'll tilt them up, see if you can rise up the table at this late stage of the season. But for now, I bid you all farewell. Enjoy this penultimate weekend and I'll see you all next time.